Hello friends, followers, channel members, welcome to another video here in Microsoft Flight Simulator and today we are going to be checking out the performance and FPS of the upcoming Phoenix A320 for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now of course in recent weeks we've seen the unveiling of some amazing scenery for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Here we can see Brussels which has been defined as a mega airport from Aerosoft with lots of different animations as you can see we have pedestrian walking through so much details with this airport but the demands on the hardware for running these kinds of add-ons is of course getting higher and higher and this of course has led to lots of people wondering how their PC is going to perform if they wish to run the Phoenix A320 when it releases well here I am running the Phoenix A320 as I have been doing for the last few days as a beta tester and if you don't already know, I only have what I would class as a mid-spec PC. I have a GTX 1660 graphics card, a Ryzen 5 3600 and 32 gigabytes of RAM. So not the most powerful PC available. Not only that, of course, what you have to remember is I also run the Phoenix A320 with that spec and my PC also does the live streams that you see here on the channel. So it's coping with both very well. Obviously for this video, I'm not streaming, but I am recording. And obviously we have to be a little bit realistic in the kinds of expectations of the graphics settings that we're going to be able to use. I have obviously not got everything in my simulator set to Ultra. So here are the graphic settings that I'm currently using whilst I stream. Now funnily enough I have had to uh, lower these ever so slightly following sim update number 9. I don't know if anybody else had issues following sim update 9 but I certainly found that things didn't flow quite as well and didn't seem to be quite as well optimized after that so yep lowering those meant that the system was much more stable, FPS was more stable and it reduced the chance of crash to desktops due to workloads on the GPU. So let's quickly go through these. I'm not going to explain each one. I'm merely showing you everything that we've got on screen so you can obviously pause the video, take a look and see what I'm currently running on with my GTX 1660. Alongside this, I think it's also important to check out the uh, traffic levels that I've got set as well because these obviously do affect a great deal of things. So the airport vehicle density, everything that you've got on the ground at airports, they are all extra little details that your GPU has got to work hard on and rendering and when we come to road vehicles in particular I do tend to keep this low. I love seeing them but obviously I'd much rather have better performance than seeing hundreds of cars on the motorways down beneath me. I do love that effect and if I'm not flying something like the Phoenix or the fly-by-wire or a heavy airliner and I am flying just a little light aircraft then I will indeed pop that up because obviously there's not quite as much of a uh, a drain on the resources for the PC when you're flying a small light aircraft as there is when you're flying a complex airliner. So again, just to quickly show you everything that's set down there. Okay, so let's take a look outside and just for clarification, I've turned off any VATSIM traffic, I've turned off any live traffic. So here in the simulated world, there is just us. We're obviously at Brussels, Aerosoft's Brussels, which is a very high demanding airport. So this is probably one of the most stressful uh, places that, uh, that we could be sat here looking at the Phoenix. And as you can see from the, uh, the FPS counter at the top right, we're holding nicely around 32, 33 FPS with my G. GTX 1660. Obviously the camera is stationary at the moment. If we decide to have a quick look around you'll see that as expected it drops ever so slightly but that's just as we're panning around and to be honest it's still not bad is it? I'd be uh, very very happy with this. Let me just leave that stabilizing just there and we can see different views. You're going to get different FPSs depending on what it is you're looking at. Let's just then try and stress this a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and throw a load of traffic here into the sim. In order to do that, I will add both live traffic and I will also add some VATSIM traffic as well. So let's just go ahead, turn uh, live traffic back on and then 
we can, oh hang on, first of all we need to save that and now we should be able to have uh, real time online traffic back on. That obviously uh, has a little bit of an extra load into the sim, takes a couple of seconds to populate but also let's throw in some uh, VAT sim traffic as well. So that'll just connect, that's doing that now and you can see the frame rates drop just as it uh, spawns that in and once again, once it's all settled it actually seems to hold quite well. We can take a quick look around just to see that. So now we've got some extra traffic in as well and once again you can see that we're still holding above 30 FPS. Let's go and have a look then how that FPS handles once we're in the flight deck. Well the flight deck of course is quite a complex area in the aircraft. We've got fantastic details here in the Phoenix but again having a look at that we're still holding just under the 30 mark and that's with all the traffic turned on still as well. All right the aircraft is currently powered down. I'm going to power the aircraft up and we'll just take a look to see if that also makes any difference. So here we are all powered up and as you can see when panning around obviously we get a small FPS drop as you would expect. Once everything is pretty much settled though you'll see that it starts to stabilize. We're a little bit low of course below that 30 target and showing around 26, 27. Let's just reset our uh, camera view and Again, this is still with all our live traffic on. Bear in mind, of course, that I am doing this test at Brussels, where for those of you who are familiar with this airport from Aerosoft, it is a mega airport. There is so much detail at this airport, and I've specifically chosen this place to show you kind of a biggest demanding uh, scenario for the computer. For perhaps then a more balanced test, here we are loaded in to Liverpool Airport, the handcrafted Azobo version of Liverpool Airport here in the UK. Obviously we can see now sat in the flight deck, still powered down, uh, but our uh, FPS is well sitting happy above uh, 30, 36, 37, even 38 just reached there. And if we have a quick look at the outside exterior model, again, just let it settle down. We can see 36 moving around, no stutters or anything like uh, like that. In this uh, example, again, all traffic for the moment is turned off, but we can be really happy with the optimization of this. And I must stress as well at the moment that optimization of the Phoenix aircraft is not complete. What you're looking at at the minute is still a release candidate version of the Phoenix, though. So there is still work to be done and once the product does get released the Phoenix team have told us that that is the start of the journey and it's going to continue to be refined, updated, improved all the way through. But looking at those frame rates sat here with my GTX 1660 uh, I think many of you are going to be really really happy with the optimization of this aircraft and hopefully for those of you wondering if you're going to be able to run it on a mid-spec PC then we should have put some of those fears to rest that you will be able to enjoy this aircraft in all its glory when it's released. For those of you running a mid-spec system like mine, I really hope you have found this video useful. If you're running a higher spec system, of course, then you will be now safe in the knowledge that the Phoenix A320 is well in your reach for good frame rates and a nice performance. Remember, of course, these are the kinds of frame rates that I get in the live streams. So my PC, even though only a mid-spec PC is getting these kind of performance and managing to stream at the same time with all the VATSIM traffic and all that in the background, as well. So very very capable and of course this isn't the final version of the Phoenix. It will still be optimized and refined in the future as we go along. Thank you so much for watching. If you have found this video useful then please do give it a like or if you know someone who you think may benefit from this video please do feel free to share it. If you're new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on that notifications bell so you don't miss any future content or our live streams. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye bye for now.